Hello there, my name is Luke and welcome to This Week in Non-League. So as always we're going to start with the managerial changes and the first one, the most notable one by far this week, is Jackie McNamara who has finally left, sort of, sort of left York City. So he was finally, he finally resigned on Monday after a meeting with the chairman but he's actually staying in charge for another at least two weeks uh, because he's going to be the interim manager before they find the uh, his, basically his replacement. So uh, wouldn't it be funny if he uh, he started to do really well during his uh, interim charge? So then he gets the job permanently. I'm sure there's some sort of clause which means that he can't do that. But uh, yeah, he's finally resigned as the first team manager of York City. So I forgot quite a big managerial change and it was Mickey Mellon being appointed as the Tranmere Rovers manager. I don't know how I forgot this, so I'll just add it in here. Former Shrewsbury manager, he was, uh, well he left Shrewsbury and then later that day became the new manager at Tranmere. A legend at the club, so you know the fans are happy to see him there. He won the National League, what we, it was called the Conference then, with Fleetwood a few years ago. Then he won uh, League League Two with Shrewsbury, and now he's back with Tranmere, hoping that he can help them to win the league or just get through the playoffs. Another big managerial change this week was Gary Mills, who was sacked as manager of Wrexham, the former York City manager who got them to the Football League a few years ago, has had a tough sort of year and a half at Wrexham and he's finally been sacked with the team 15th in the league table. So Bishop Stortford have sacked their manager Gordon Boateng and replaced him with Mark Hawks and Steve Smith. So they've got some joint managers, interesting model that to have, they were both in charge as joint managers of Chelmsford City not too long ago, they had steered them away from the relegation zone in the National League South. Former Eastleigh manager Chris Todd has been announced as a player coach at Truro City. The Cornwall club have got a really, really experienced 35-year-old former defender. Darlington manager Martin Gray has said this week that he was approached by a football league club and a national league club to be their manager, but he's decided to stay at Darlington because he's really excited with what they're doing, and he signed a five-year contract. That is unheard of at this level of football, a five-year contract. That is incredible. They obviously really believe in what he's doing. So now onto this week's transfers, and there was a really, really interesting one down at Aldershot, and it involved a 16-year-old player called Idris Kanu. He was having a trial about a month ago with Manchester United, where he scored twice for, I believe, their under-20s. So he, he's really highly thought of, and he's decided to scrap all that and go and sign for Aldershot Town for game time, basically, which is a really, really brave and really admirable decision on his part, because a lot of players that play in Premier League Youth Academies never really go on to be really good professional players but obviously he's seen the likes of Jamie Vardy coming through from the lower leagues getting loads of games over in his career and becoming a really good Premier League quality player because of it so that's what he'll be hoping to replicate. Part of the deal probably is because apparently his agent is the dad of the assistant manager of Aldershot. Lincoln City have signed former Doncaster and Derby striker Theo Robinson on a month-to-month -month contract. He was with Port Vale last season and is now 27 years old. A really, really good experienced Football League striker for Lincoln on a potentially very clever deal. 32-year-old goalkeeper Ross Flitney has become the latest player to move from Eastleigh to Whitehawk to reunite with his former manager Richard Hill, a very, very experienced former National League goalkeeper who was first choice right up until about a month ago when Eastleigh bought in Ryan Clark. Welling United have signed former Ebbsfleet defender Matt Fish. He's now 27 years old and also made over 70 appearances for Gillingham in the Football League. He's a fullback and I think he's a really good signer. And finally, the last player that I wanted to mention in terms of transfers was an absolute definition of journeyman. It's Jefferson Louis. He signed for Oxford City in the National League South. He's now 37 years old, and I believe that this is his 25th different club. Wow, I should put, I'll put his career on the screen now. He's also had a few clubs that he's signed for multiple times. I think there's three or four clubs that are like that. So he has been around so many different clubs. To give you a little bit of perspective, during the year of 2005, he played for six different teams permanently. Not like loans or anything, six different teams. He's a journeyman and he's back in the National League South. So now onto the awards for September and the player of the month in the Vanarama National League was Musa Diara of Barrow. He's been getting rave reviews since signing for Barrow 
from, I think, a team in the seventh tier. I can't remember who it is, but he's doing really well and attracting a lot of interest. The manager of the month for the National League was Ronnie Moore down at Eastleigh. His first full month in charge at Eastleigh has gone really, really well. He's changed things around a bit and got a lot of good results, enough to win him manager of the month. In the National League North, Matt Janssen of Chorley won manager of the month. He's had an impressive, solid month. They've, still, they've got the best defensive record in the National League North. Surely they've only conceded nine goals in total this season. And the Player of the Month, back-to-back -back winner of Player of the Month in the National League North, it's Danny Rowe. He's now got 19 goals in the National League North this season in just 13 or 14 matches. He's doing absolutely ridiculous. He's scoring so many goals and he's won back-to-back -back Player of the Month awards. In the National League South, Tony Berman of Dartford won the Manager of the Month award. They've had a really difficult start to the season, but they've turned it around in the second month and he's done enough to win himself Manager of the Month. And Player of the Month in the National League South was James Kaloshi of Hemel Hempstead Town. So that's it for this week in non-league. If you've enjoyed this video, then remember to hit that like button and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Beyond belief. Um, they let, they let obviously a lot of players go, they kept a few as well, so their squad is huge, yet the actual quality in their squad, they've got some good players, but it 